doing? Putting the front, uh, the front wheel on. Because that's how we roll with the yeah. front wheel. Street, have you? No, I haven't seen the new street. You have to check out the new street. Okay, you play with that, and I'm going to keep playing with my machine. I see that little trail grooming. Uh, it's kind of cloudy out, a little bit of sun up there. Threatening to rain, but I think the rain is staying mostly south. This must be the new street that Joe was talking about. The one he's weed whacking was the old one. One of the old ones. And this one comes around and goes along the side of the fence. And goes way out in the back over there by the old pond. And where Joe lives is one of the oldest house, one of the oldest houses in Manchester, New Hampshire. This is the old Clark Mansion. And his sister bought this place. Lots of history in there. There was a post office. Uh, Stagecoach uh, resting stop, I guess. That's what that big rock is there, so we could get out on the stagecoach. It's a beautiful old place. Whole bunch of fireplaces. See the front of it? beauty that's right Trying to work out the bugs in his carburetor. I don't know if it's going to need a rejet. Did you see the game cam that I have on the garbage can that was over here? No. That's a game camera. It's a ton of fun. Have you been seeing much game? Oh, yeah. Parcheesy, checkers. <laughs> oh, sure. Parcheesy. <laughs> Trying to work the bugs out of his carburetor because he left the fuel on all winter and I think the jets got dogged up. Try the new street. See what's down there. We did sea foam it several times and it seems to be running a lot better. Um, 
you know, I think we're going to burn through this tank of gas and then we'll make a determination right then and there if we're going to do a rejet or not. The thing that I like about this place is it's kind of like smack dab in the middle of the east side of the city. It's kind of little, little oasis. the new trail that Joe built. It's one more than we had last year. A couple of stumps. All right, now this is where it connects with the old part of the trail. Raccoon prints of something. Last summer we spent a good porter portion of the evening here moving big boulders out of the way. This is old farmland, so there was a lot of overgrowth and just shit that's in the way if you want to build the dirt bike track. Late last year we were here and uh, we gave the mini bike a beat run and he broke the throttle cable and that ended our riding for the season just because I was too lazy to order another throttle cable. Now this year it's a carburetor. So we'll just run it. Seems to get better a little every time that we run it. Some wild grape leaves right there. All these wild grape leaves. There's the main house way over there. And Joe. He hasn't been riding this much lately because usually it's all got like mud and water involved. As you can see here, carving a nice turn. Another part of the trail over here, part of the original, comes around, curves over here, and goes back to the starting point near the front of the rear of the house, rather. I hear old Captain Rotten Sauce coming up around the bend.
hearing it's still a little it's still a little choppy when he gets on it from an idle it seems to be running a lot better taking the spark plug out we cleaned it whole problem might be just bad gas but we'll see when we burn through this tank of gas not looking forward to doing a rejet if it's necessary but it'll be something to do over the winter I guess Just a little choppy now when he gets on it. Whatever it is, it seems to be working itself out a little bit. Uh, do me a favor here and give it give us a little history lesson of this property and the house. Oh geez, where do we want to start? We want to start with the King of England granting the land in 1745, or do we want to start with the Yeah, it sounds like a good place to start. Well, that's all I know about that. Northeast the, Kingdom it is. But lot number 45 uh, was first built on about 1809 by a... So this would actually place this as one of the whole oldest houses in Manchester, New Hampshire, wouldn't number, it be Number so? three that I can tell. Uh, it was built by a guy by the name of Hall who sold it to Samuel Jackson. Jackson ran the first post office here from 1831. The Samuel to, Jackson? Samuel Jackson. Or just one of the many Samuel Jacksons. One of the many the... Samuel Jacksons. Nice. Ran the post office here from about 1830 to 1841. The official United States Post yes, Office. the very first in the city. And then, was in uh, this was in the general show. store. It was a militia headquarters for training purposes. They held religious services in the upper hall, which are now the two front bedrooms, or the north and south chamber, as they became known by the Hugheses. Bought by Isaac Hughes II in 1845 in the Hughes family until my sister purchased it in 2012. It's 168 years, one family. Okay, now, uh, how about this land that you're working? What was this, this primarily did, used for, this uh, whole this tract? Farm, farming of all types. They grew hops here. They grew... Hops for beer, no Hops doubt. Hops for, uh, for beer, corn, uh, ducks, geese, eggs. Now, where did they grow the ducks and the geese? Down in the pond, over right to yonder. the far right corner. Very little remains of the pond. But now, I seem, I'm seeing a lot of wild grape leaves. A lot of uh, wine making here in the 1950s. Do we have 1960s. any grapes? We have grapes. We have Do we have grapes. wine? We have no wine. Oh, yes, see. yes, we have no wine today. We have no bananas today. Now... Where would the grapes be? Are they already in season, out of season? Uh, what grapes, the hell? Grapes are still growing. They're green on the vines. Uh, now this would be sometimes. a grape plant, wouldn't it? Uh, no, that is a catalpa tree. Oh yeah, the that old catalpa tree. catalpa tree. Does it grow anything? It grows big giant beans, which mm. are the seed pods, not edible. Lots and lots of uh, blackberries, raspberries, yellow raspberries here. We've got chives behind us growing wild. We've got wild pumpkin patches. We Where have. are the chives? I want That's to see the chives. That's a very question, and I'm glad you asked. I, you sound glad that I'm asked. <laughs> that I have. The chives used to be in their own field over here up until a couple of years ago. Now, do you have any marijuana? I'm sorry. I just smoked the rest of it. Okay. Uh, for medical well, purposes, of course. That's fair. Oh, of course. I mean, you know, I would never... Break the law. <laughs> suggest anything. Uh, now, I'm looking yeah. over here... The chives you... you, you What's that, a catawba tree? Cassava? I have no idea. No, you said oh, before? Oh, this here? Yeah. No, that's a sumac. I no, know that. No, that is a black walnut. That thing there... Is a black walnut. Is not a sumac? That is a black walnut. Now, those things... These leaves here... They look like grape leaves to me. I'll show you the grape leaves. I've seen those the grape are, leaves over there. And the grape leaves are down over by the pond. Very distinct. Short walk from there. No, they grew ice here as well, didn't they? They did grow ice, yes, fresh off the vine. Oh, I love them. There's nothing like looking at a great fresh ice vine. Ice. 
Yeah. I mean, you got to get it at the right time. You got to pick it at the peak of freshness. God damn, not normal. Now there's, this to me, I Black see walnut. this and it looks like a sumac tree. Black walnut. One of the, very, the they make violins and such oh, out of the uh, black walnut tree. Looks like it's got a ways to go before it'll be a black one. No. Another catalpa. We have an apple tree out here. Beautiful apple tree with lots of apples on it. Ah, That's yes. An it's an aspen. I like aspens. And any nice trees that I find, I'm taking the, the bittersweet off of it so it'll grow. I've been pruning them. Our apple tree. And it is a very fruitful year this year. Very holy fruitful. mackerel. So, hold, holy, <laughs> holy McIntyre. Now, uh, what kind of apples are these and will they get any bigger? Nobody knows. They will get bigger, but nobody knows what kind they are. The real we, question, I guess, we is... We brought it to Max Apples and they say it's a hybrid of some sort and they don't know what it is. If Max Apples probably, don't know what it probably is. Probably very, very old. No. have you ate any of these apples yet? Uh, we made a pie out of them last, uh, two years ago. And did anybody, you know, every other year. get the shits or anything from it? Not that I recall. They certainly didn't complain about it. It was good. Nice burp going over here, huh? Yeah, he said he likes that part when it goes through there. <laughs> i tell you what, I like that part that in second gear with the throttle wide open. That's how I like that. I'll show you. We're getting into grape territory. The pond is down this way. Uh, I was here earlier, and I saw the grape, what I thought were the grape vines. Grapevines growing in a couple different places, but primarily in this way. I picked a lot of Concord grapes down here last year, but it was very dry last year. This year it's a lot wetter, and it seems to be growing much better. Uh, I dug out a big stump out of here this weekend and took two more boulders out. Now, see to me, these things right here this is great. are all grapevines. Okay, grape. then good. This is I didn't give out any false nope. information. This is bittersweet. This is grape. Um, no, obviously there's no grapes on these vines because I saw some earlier, earlier in the season. I don't know if the birds are eating them while they're still green. Because they were the easiest green. to get to, apparently. I don't know if they're the birds are eating them while they're still green, but I did see uh, clusters of very, very I small. See green nary berries. a grape, buddy. Very, very small, and a lot of wild roses growing in here. So be careful of the thorns. You can really get picked good out here. Oh, oh, that. That's a wild douchebag. <laughs> wild, all right. He is wild at seven miles an hour. No, I was seeing some green berries earlier this year. Just for the record, I I tried doing thirty with that thing yeah. on this trail right here, you and the, you that. can't go. You're going can't over to handlebars. Can't man. be doing that. There's no suspension. <laughs> uh, here's some things that look like poison. They are poison. Maybe that, that might be what I saw intertwined with the grape leaves, but grapes are, are more an early fall thing. Because I'm like not even seeing a little grapelet. Oh, you will. Where I was picking them was down beyond these trees here last year. The vines growing up into the trees. They were they were Concord grapes. Right this looks purple. like oregano that I have growing at my house. I don't know what that is. I haven't the foggiest. I mean, it's not oregano, but it looks like it. I haven't the foggiest. i got to get back to my trail. I want to finish that before... Uh, okay, well, we thank you over. for this, uh, you know... I'd, I'd tell you more if I were prepared. For this, uh, you know... Yeah, but this, this plot is the last five acres remaining of about 300 that the farm once was. It was pretty big, I guess, at one time. It went all the way to Jewett Street. So you could like say to those people in those houses over there, this you wouldn't even had a house if it wasn't for us. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know. And the woman in this white house is driving and there's water on out there. That's waterless property. Oh no it isn't. You don't know what you're talking about, Mr. It's pretty funny. The world is full of people like that, Joe, that, that just don't, don't mind their own fucking business. Well, I once heard it said that everybody has a right to be wrong if they want to be. Don't take it to me, though. <laughs> Everybody has a right to be wrong. There's that big rock that we moved, isn't it? Uh, that's not the one. The other one, the one that we did move would be in here somewhere. 
Uh, there's that beast. How's well, it running? Awesome. Seems like it's running a lot better. Oh yeah. Idling a lot better too. Yep. Clean the shit out of it. All right, I'm gonna go out, get on Joe's bike, and I'll see you out on the track, okay? All right. You all right? Everything good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be going. Uh, around okay, around. I'll I'll find you. That bike will go a lot faster. Too fast for these trails and that suspension. This one here is just uh That was my toes. Sorry, what do you need toes for anyway? It's coming back that way. <laughs> Joe gets a little crazy. Watch out for Joe, he's going the other way on the track. My hand hurts, I'm gonna take a break. All right, take a break. <laughs> he got me. He's coming back the other way. I went into the, tr I went into the grass. <laughs> well, I had a feeling that something like that was gonna happen. Cause yeah, I could I hear. <laughs> I could hear I could hear your engine and then I could hear Joe's and I'm like hey, they're heading the same direction. I hope they see each other. <laughs> so it's running a lot better, huh? Oh yeah. Good. Might need to tighten the front wheel up a little bit more. I don't know how much more tighter you want to get it. We cranked it down. I forced him to do it. <laughs> He's gonna eat shit. Probably gonna wheel stand it. Oh, I almost forgot where the brake was. Yeah, you gotta remember that. Yeah, one break and it's so-so. It is so-so. Go ahead, you're opening up there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm waiting to hear it get stuck open when he, when, he, when he falls. Well, if he falls, it'll shut off. Yeah, but... Because his hand's on the throttle when he falls. Yeah, that big, that, the three big roots that go around him on the right side. Man. This course gets funner and funner every time you ride it. I know.
He needs some jumps. <laughs> he does. He needs to put a berm up. Hot Rod Joe. <laughs> he, he's not scared, I'll tell you. Kill switch? No, I didn't hit the kill switch. No, that's the thing, we're trying to burn off the fuel. Oh. I think we had like oh. three quarters of a tank. <laughs> 